Let's have some fun with it. Jojo Science Show! Hello, welcome to Jojo Science Show. Today I'm going to show you six static electricity experiments with balloons. For these experiments, you'll need two balloons. You'll need a plastic bag with a string on it. You'll need some thread. And you'll need a small, empty aluminum can. And you'll need some small bits of paper. This is my baby sister, Grace. She's going to be my sister today because she has long hair. For the first experiment, you'll need two balloons and someone's long hair, like Grace. The first experiment we'll do is Einstein hair. We'll make her hair look like Albert Einstein. We're going to rub her, rub her hair with these balloons. Her hair is sticking up like Albert Einstein. So how does this work? Let's zoom in on Grace's hair. Oh look, it's Eli the electron. Hi Eli. Eli has a negative charge. When we rub the balloon in Grace's hair, Eli moves from the hair to the balloon. Eli leaves a positively charged hole on the hair. Now that the hair and the balloon are oppositely charged, they attract each other. Now that the hairs are all positively charged, they don't want to stick to each other. Now my hair is sticking up. It's like Mickey Mouse. I'm not gonna rub these in my hair or it'll get messed up. I have nice hair. When we rub the balloons in Grace's hair, the balloons became negatively charged. <laughs> For the next experiment, we're going to see what happens when we move the balloon next to these small pieces of paper. Rub the balloon in your hair again and move it next to the paper. Wow, look how it's jumping. The balloon is negatively charged and the paper is positively charged. That's why the paper jumps to the balloon. Do you see all these pieces sticking? For my next experiment, we're going to move the soda can without touching it. Rub the balloon in your hair again. Look how fast it's rolling. The balloon is negatively charged and the can is positively charged. That's why it follows the balloon across the table. For the next experiment, tie the two balloons together with some thread. <laughs> See how the balloons are tied together? They're touching each other now. Now rub both balloons in your hand. This balloon keeps sticking to me. See how the balloons are repelling each other now? That's because they are both negatively charged. When you rub two balloons in your hair, they both get a negative charge. Again, things with the same charge repel each other. This causes the balloons to move apart. For the next experiment, hang this plastic glue somewhere high. Loop the loop. Now, <laughs> now rub the plastic bag and the balloon in your hair. See how I'm making the loop move? Because they're both negatively charged. I have to do that slow. The loop is running away 
in the room. Next, go to your bathroom sink with the charged balloon. Whoa, it's going toward the balloon. See how the stream of water is attracted to the balloon? Water molecules have a positive part. The water molecule can turn so that the positive part is attracted to the balloon. Tap water has dissolved ions. Some of these ions are positive and may be attracted to the negative balloon. You just learned about static electricity. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and share this video with all your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos. And remember kids, science is fun! <laughs> <laughs>